Subculturing of cells is the next stage in suspension culture. The cells in the suspension culture, after an exponential rise in the cell number, they gradually enter into the stationary phase where they become non-dividing. Hence, to maintain viability, cells should be subcultured. Subculturing is taking small aliquots of the suspension cells. The cell aggregates are transferred into fresh nutrient media of same composition in another flask. Materials required for subculturing. Flask with suspension culture to be subcultured. Append of tubes for taking cells for determining cell density and viability. New flask with 70 ml fresh sterile ml liquid medium. Culture tubes for aliquating the suspension culture and transferring it into the fresh medium. Method Suspension culture to be uh, subcultured is taken from the orbital shaker. Placed in the laminar airflow chamber, left undisturbed for few seconds for the large cell aggregates to settle. During the initial subculturing after 7 days, the suspension culture is filtered to remove residual inoculum and large clumps of cells. Here, the upper portion of the cells were taken for transferring it into the fresh medium. Initially, sample of the suspension culture cells were taken for determining cell density and cell viability. Once determined the specific, once cell viability was determined, once the cell density and viability determined, specific volume of cells were distributed into the fresh medium. Here we have taken suspension culture, aliquate volume of 30 ml into 70 ml of fresh liquid medium. First we transferred the suspension cells, aliquate volume into a culture tube. The aliquate volume was distributed into culture tubes and later from the culture tubes the suspension cultures were added into the fresh medium. Inoculated flasks were incubated and maintained in the orbital shaker. At 120 rpm, the rotations were maintained at 120 rpm and temperature was 25 degrees centigrade. Maintained in the orbital shaker. Regular practice of subculturing helps in propagating and maintaining good suspension of cells. I would like to thank the PhD scholars Ms. Jagadishwari and Ms. Pinky for helping me in performing this experiment. Thank you.